Tata. This is the longest period of a game that Parramatta has held in opposition to six points or less all year. As I say that, the ball is lost. And Cooper Cronk enters enemy territory by half a body length. A full book of tackles up their sleeve. Proctor. To Will Chambers, wrapped up by Willie Tonga, one on one around the legs. Typical of tonight's defensive display from Parramatta's outside men, Bromwich. Smith finds Hoffman, wood up around the back. Now Nielsen straightens. Finds some accommodating defenders in Morgan and Ryan. Wood up out of acting half. Just works his way towards the posts. And within a metre of the line. The last here for the visitors. It's Cronk chipping, looking for Wonga. Bird is there, the back back to Will Chambers. Still the last. He gets the ball away to Cooper Cronk in the Moy Moy. And Foy goes over the sideline. So Melbourne will keep the ball deep in enemy territory. Yeah. Good job there by Fui. Touches the ball, then regains it, and then over the sideline. But Melbourne, they are a different football team without Billy Slater's speed and anticipation. Look at the tackles inside the opposition 20. 41 more times they've been tackled inside the opposition 20, the Melbourne Storm. And they've only scored one try. But Slater's, uh, Slater's speed just puts doubt in the defenders' minds. And that's just what they're missing at the moment. Just repeating what Melbourne Ken said prior to kick off. We expect Billy back next week. Here's Chambers in the Tonga. He makes another one on one tackle. Croc, Lowry in the high marsh. I've held on for two tackles in this set. Royals greeted by Hindmarsh, up hard, wrapping the ball up. Now Smith to Cronk, Proctor around the legs, it was Roberts chopping him down. Smith to Bromwich, Bromwich trying to bulldoze his way into the end goal. Five eels racing to stop him under the crossbar. This is the last of the storm, here's Cronk. Chipping, looking for an outside man. It's marked in goal. Back into the field of play. Ken Seo told to play on. Now back to the 20 for a tap and go. Now we can go. Seo all the way. What a play from Ken Seo. Now Paulo dragging the Parramatta fans out of their seats. Nathan Smith to Sando. They can smell a big upset, Parramatta. Lifting with every play. Moy Moy leaves it behind, knocks it on, and Lowry comes away with it. He goes to Proctor, who loses it. Was advantage play? It was. Wow. They get the ball back, and Todd Lowry throwing it. To Kevin Proctor, who comes up with a mistake, the errors. Parramatta have made more errors. They've done more defence. They've had less ball. Yet they're winning this match. Courageous performance by the Blue and Gold. They are wearing their members' jersey. You can see the names of the members on their playing jumpers, and they are doing them proud at the moment. A mighty defensive performance from Parramatta. They lead 10-6. And Melbourne staring at four straight defeats under Craig Bellamy for the first time. Sando giving it now to Morgan. The flick ball looking for CO. And it's gone forward. Yeah, gone forward, I think he knocked it on as well. But Ryan Morgan getting on the outside of Dane Nielsen. Been solid tonight defensively. What about this for a ball? The one-arm flick. Knocks it on Kenny Seo. But they just can't extend their lead. They're hanging in. You wonder 
with it. The amount of defense which they've had to do will it take its toll. You would think it has to at some stage, but they're hanging in, they're playing tough. They're showing spirit, Parramatta. Hoffman now. Riles towards halfway. The ball comes free, goes back to Lowry. Into the final quarter. And it's Bromwich. Smith to cross Jason. Now Proctor. Stopped by Ryan. Ryan Marsh. Ben Roberts as well. The last for Melbourne. It's with Cronk to kick. It's one of those ugly floating bombs for Hayne to get no problems. He's tackled by Hoffman. They'll come away from your own in goal. He made that look easy, Jared Hayne. And let me tell you, it's not. When it's floating and it moves away on you at the last moment. And he was going backwards. That's a terrific take under pressure. Paul goes to Matt Ryan, who gets the ball through to Willie Tonga. Tonga, chased by Lowry, down the western sideline and tackled. Roberts, the ball to ground, trapped by Nathan Smith. It goes backwards, Burt to Paulo, to Hayne, now Sando. Ben Smith comes back at the end with a flick ball to Sando, who has a bit of room, intercepted by Wonga. Wonga can't get away, he's tackled by Hayne. Great football from Parramatta. And now they've lost it, have they, Melbourne? No six to go. Jared Hayne blowing up at Shane Hayne. Uh, Steve Lyon, sorry. Getting caught up with the emotion here. You can feel it in the stands. Parramatta supporters can sense an upset. Now with a... Well, the passion on show there from Jared Hayne. They might be out of finals contention, but don't they want to win this? Is this a team show of support for their outgoing coach, Kearney? Bromwich. Lowry back to Smith. Goes to Widdop, and he's greeted instantly by Ben Roberts. The last for Melbourne. Down by four. Cronk kicks across field. Nielsen knocked it backwards. Cleaning up is Hoffman. He gets away from Smith. Lobs it to Hempstead. And he is monstered by Moy Moy. It was desperate stuff from Melbourne. And Fui Fui shut it down. Does he get Ryan Hoffman high there, Fooey Fooey? He shuts it down well, as they have done all night. There's Willie Tonga. He's off the field in the arms of the trainers. Let's go. Bring over here, we're going to have a change. He must over. have right, picked up a leg injury yeah, after oh. making that run right on. down this left side of the mark, field. Huh? He's had a Your wretched season of injuries, Willie three. Tonga. This is his 12th game of the year. And he's off again. Sideline Mark Gasney, this game has gone up more than one gear over the past 10 minutes. Hadn't it what? There's plenty of feeling down here at ground level and you wouldn't think Parramatta have got nothing to play for. The Melbourne Storm in their attack, I think it could be without really Slater was hit into it before the speed. It's a good lesson for everyone watching at home. The depth of the difference between Slater and Widdop out the back. They can't play around Parramatta. They've got to go through them. They've got to play to their big boys and turn back on the inside and get inside the Parramatta back rollers. Roberts. To Renny Matua. And he's stopped by Proctor. And Chambers, Longer assisting. Paulo. Now Sando. Gets the ball away to Hayne, who goes over the head of Nielsen. Some room for Morgan. He comes back in field. And he's pulled down from behind by Anthony Quinn. 
second. Sando kicks on the last. Plenty of Parramatta players racing through. One hour went through the air in heavy traffic and came down with it. He handled that well, didn't he? Cecil Wong, he was under all sorts. Parramatta attacking players were coming through. Melbourne, they have to find a way to break down this Parramatta defence. What they've been doing hasn't been working. Bulldogs fans watching this intently, no doubt, is their team about to stand alone on top of the 2012 NRL Premiership. Hinchcliffe plays it, 30 metres out. This is the last of Cooper Cronk. Long Dahane, who has some room. Jared Hayne. Takes a tackle from Proctor. Hinchcliffe. <laughs> scored the first of two first half tries for Parramatta. No points yet in the second half. Fine Marsh to Matt Ryan. Tackled by Chambers and Crock. Nathan Smith to Roberts. Now Sando, the flat ball for Ben Smith. And he's tackled by Rory Cost Jason. Play the ball, eventually picked up by Chrissy Sando. Had to double back and get it. And now his kick will find touch. Half a metre out from Melbourne's in goal. Ah, uh, Parramatta. Chrissy Sando, a bit of luck there with the kick. Takes the sting out of the game. They can walk to the scrum, get their breath back. 12 minutes to go. go. Parramatta. Been tremendous. Mark Esnia has told us it is an go, ankle injury for Willie Tonga. As we look at the completion and the amount of ball that Melbourne have had. Oh, the angle of Willie Tonga just there. Trapped under the rolling body of Todd Lowry who is chasing in defence. We just can't take a trick, Kenny. The last time Melbourne lost four consecutive games, I'll come back to that. There's an error just beyond the 20, produced by a tackle from Nathan Hindmarsh. Was well, this Parramatta's time? They've been waiting for an opportunity like this. They haven't had too many chances in the second half down this end of the field. Their best chance now to post points. 15 errors compared to seven. And they lead by four. 11 to go. It's their defence that has kept them in the game and earned possession and position like this. Roberts held from behind by Cooper Cronk. Nathan Smith, here's Randy Matua. Smith directing traffic, anything like a rookie. He goes long to Roberts. Bumping away from Hinchcliffe, but not Ken Smith or Sikamanu. Looking to land a killer blow. Hindmarsh through Paulo. Now the flat ball from Chris Sando to Ben Smith was well read by Nielsen and Kos Jason. Sando takes the line on. Sando sits it up. his first try of 2012 and Parramatta Stadium almost exploded. Well, what a player he's been throughout his career, Nathan Hindmarsh. In the latter stages of his career, not a noted try scorer. But this one he will save up. Sando going to the line in between defenders, pops it back to the ever-present Nathan Hindmarsh. Still had a bit of work to do to crash through Widdop and Dane Nielsen. He grounds the ball down. And this has been Parramatta's finest hour this season. They have been terrific.